episode 5, Cooking on a Boat. Hi, I'm Alan Stokel, and let's face it, if you have one or two burner stove on board, you can cook anything you like. That is, anything you like that can be made in a saucepan or a skillet. Breakfast will be no problem, even without a toaster. Miss toast? Try buttering the bread on one side and putting it face down on a hot skillet and churn after a couple minutes. Yes, it is fried bread, but it took less oil than if you'd buttered hot toast. Try it. I think you'll find the taste is better and it has better texture than toast. There are a few limitations with cooking on a boat. Some dishes need to be made in ovens, but others, like pizza, can be made on a boat without an oven. The real secret is to boat cooking is to keep it simple. My wife's family is from the Mediterranean, so pre-made pasta at our house is pretty much a no-no. Even if you agree that commercial sauce is no good, keep a bottle or two of high-end sauce on board. You won't always have the time to buy tomatoes, cook them all day, and all add all those fresh herbs and spices. Also, it really heats up the cabin when you do that. Pasta sauce is useful as a layer on pizza for the next day's pasta and for sloppy doughs for lunch. Try uh, keeping a few dried herbs on board and maybe a clove or two of garlic. For more genuine flavor, by the way, you should try caramelizing the onion in a saucepan before you add the sauce. It all boils down to the KISS theory. Keep it simple when sailing. I'll show you around my pantry and then I'll make something that needs an oven and that's an oven I don't have. My pantry is under the dinette seat. It's cooler there and uh, than keeping things by the stove and so much better and neater. I hang my garlic, onions and potatoes and yams and carrots in this device. It also doubles as a steamer. Below I have my herbs and spices as well as dried, tinned and bottled food. I have add water only type pancake mix to save on eggs and self-rising flour for dumplings, scones and the occasional pizza crust. Let's make two crew pleasers today. Ribs. Everyone loves ribs, and when they go on sale, freeze them for the boat. A day or two in the cooler or the refrigerator, and they will defrost. The secret for really tender ribs is... removing the membrane on the back. Do that and cut into lengths that will fit in your pressure cooker. Yes, pressure cooker. Every boat needs a small pressure cooker. You can save a lot of time cooking meat and vegetables and, you, and it still can be used as a saucepan. To the pressure cooker add sauce, water, garlic and a bay leaf if you have it and cook under pressure for 30 to 45 minutes. You can do this ahead if you wish and refrigerate them when they are cool. Before serving make a barbecue sauce in your fry pan or just add rib sauce and heat. They are so good. Now let's make the pizza. Buy some fresh bread dough and freeze it for later. Or make bread dough from the self-rising flour that you have already. You will need a tight-fitting lid for your fry pan or use aluminum foil. Pre-rise the dough in the usual fashion and make it into rounds that will fit in the pan. Heavily oil a medium fry pan and put the dough and in and cover. Wait five or six minutes and then turn in the pan. Once you've turned it, add the other ingredients to the top. Try not to put in anything raw except cheese. Cover, reduce the heat. Delicioso! Well that didn't last long. <laughs> if you have more recipes, I'd love to hear them. Please post them below or send me an email at grampianmarine at gmail.com. I'm Alan Stokel. Thank you for watching this episode of This Old Fiberglass Boat.